math to some people may associate with symbols, operation, and numbers. But for real world application, we usually need text to describe the outcome. For example, if we go to buy furniture, we need to measure the size of it, such as width, depth, and height in centimeter. Especially if we need to make sure the furniture we have chosen will fit into the space that we are planning to place. Some people may experience the headache of ordering some furniture which couldn't fit. Another example is the bank, especially if we need to calculate the in and out of money to our accounts, and we need to understand different type of notes. If we need to travel abroad, usually we need to exchange some foreign currency. We need to know the proper currency such as US dollars, pounds, euro, renminbi, and Japanese yen. Our kids are supposed to know all these major currency when they grow up. And actually, it is not difficult for them to understand. If you ask them to use it to buy candies, loan. Once I need to travel to Philippines with my family to attend my nephew's wedding, I need to exchange some money in Philippine peso. My son showed his curiosity with the peso. He kept asking me about the money notes that he hasn't seen before. I explained to him what it was and where we were supposed to spend. Now he made a book that collects money notes of more than seven countries. Therefore, math book is not necessary teaching correlation. Sometimes we need to read some books to describe the outcome after calculation. For my son, one of his favorite books is IKEA catalog, because I taught him to use the free measure tape provided by IKEA, and he liked to verify the physical size in the store against the catalog. Now, the first thing first he usually does on entering the store is to fetch the free measure tape and the catalog. If you ask the kids to remember all the units of measure, they may not have patience to learn. But if you ask them to learn from colorful catalogs or books, they will be happy to do so. Bear this in mind. We need to read together with them in case they ask question. Here in this section, we are mainly focused on finding the free interesting math ebook for kids to learn, and I hope you enjoy it. If you found any free ebooks for math, please join our community and upload it with your own password.